what is going on YouTube it's your boy Billy Kibaki and in today's video I'll be showing you how to play PS2 ISOs game on your HFW hand exploited PS3 using HEN also guys you should be running the latest PS3 HEN 2.0.2 .2. I did a video about that you guys can go ahead and check that out all the links will be in the description so make sure that you guys read through the description alright so let's go ahead and get started so guys you want to make sure that you download the files that are in the description and you want to make sure that you save it here save the file on your local disk C do not save it anywhere else save it right here okay so here's the PS2 classic the link will be in the description make sure that you guys download it right click on it and then you want to do extract okay once you extract it you're gonna end up with this folder right here after that go ahead and put your game inside the PS2 classic folder and right here you will see the PS2 launcher inside it you will see the PS2 launcher PKG and also the xdata wrap file so what you wanna do is just go ahead and copy both of these you will need both of them now go to your um, USB stick make sure that your USB stick is formatted to FAT32 go ahead and just paste them there alright so we have the PS2 launcher PKG and we also have the um, the PS2 launcher wrap file okay so all we have to do now is go back over here now go back out now you can just drag and drop your whatever PS2 game, whatever PS2 ISO you have, drag it and drop it inside the PS2 Classic GUI. That's it. Now go inside the folder and right here you're going to see your um, PS2 game. All you have to do is just drag it and drop it on the PS2 Classic GUI um, EXE. You're gonna get this pop-up menu all you have to do is go ahead and click encrypt so just wait until it's finished okay guys so once it's finished um, converting you should be able to see the ISO bin dot ENC inside the PS2 classic folder it's gonna ask you to save it you can just easily press cancel press ok this page will pop up just go ahead and close the page down now close down the PS2 classic and here is the ISO bin dot ENC so just go ahead now and right click on your game go to rename and you wanna copy the name that's it now go to the ISO bin dot ENC right click go to rename and you wanna take off the part where it says ISO and right click and paste the, the name of the game right there so this is how your bin dot ENC should look alright so go ahead now and copy this or you can cut it go over to your USB stick and you want to paste it right here okay guys so once the PS2 game has been copied over to your USB stick let's go ahead and eject the USB stick and head over to the PS3 okay guys so now that we're on the PS3 you want to go over here and you want to enable HEN so just go ahead and enable HEN okay press yes now go down to your multi man press X okay once we're inside multi man you just want to press triangle go up to file manager and it's gonna take you right here go over to the part where it says PS3 root double tap X and open it up then go to your USB your dev USB 00 double tap X move this over here to the right 
go back over to the PS3 route again, double tap X, then you want to go to your dev HDD0, double tap X to open it, go down to PS2 ISO. Once you're inside the PS2 ISO folder, go back over here to your USB stick. You want to press X on your PS2 bin.enc file, press circle, press cut or copy anyone. So I'm going to do copy, go over here, press X, circle, paste, and yes. Okay, so once you copy over your PS2 game inside the PS2 ISO folder on your PS3, go ahead and press X and close this page down. Press X again and close that page down. Um, go to games and double tap X. Okay, go over here. Go all the way down to quit. And you want to exit multi-man. Okay, once you exit multi-man, go all the way back up here where it says uh, um, package manager press X go to install standard and you want to look for your PS2 launcher rebug edition press X and install it okay that's done press circle here it is guys now go to webman games press X Go to webman setup, press X. Go down to the part where it says refresh my games. So you want to press X. And there it is, refresh XML. Uh, scan content for content. Refresh XML, OK. As you guys can see, there is nothing inside the PS2. So go ahead now and restart your PS3. Just reboot your PS3 from right here. Okay guys, once you have rebooted your PS3, go ahead and log into your user. Now go all the way over to the game column. Go up top where it says memory card utility. And you want to go right here, create new internal memory card. Press X. And you want to select the top one that says PS2. Press X. And you can just easily go ahead and name this whatever you want to name it, okay? But... I'm just gonna call this one you don't have to name it like this you can name it anything you want I'm gonna call this one PS2 yep that's it PS2 card press OK now press circle press triangle and click assign slot go down to you can choose one or two it's up to you I'm gonna choose two and that's it so this is my PS1 memory card and this is my PS2 memory card okay so go down now to hen enable so you wanna enable hen now press X press yes now go down to webman games and as you guys can see we now have one game inside our ps2 um, folder right here there you go dragon ball z budokai dot bin you can hide all your games inside this folder guys just follow the steps and you can have everything up and running so press x and there you go we get that message PS2 Classic, there you go, Dragon Ball Z loaded, and that's it. So Dragon, we just load up our PS2 game, go down to PS2 ISO and Classic Launcher, press X. And that's it guys, now you can press the PS button, you can go down to other settings, and you can turn on full screen if you want and you can also turn on smoothing okay press circle press circle again and there it is ps2 game is now up and running on your um hfw exploited ps3 using hen 
Alright, so guys, if the video was helpful, please leave a like. Also, share the video around. And also, you guys can subscribe for more videos to come. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video.